What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so, the last episode was a little crazy. We defeated Giovanni once again, saved Celadon, no, Saffron City from uh, utter destruction, got ourselves a Master Ball, and, uh, well... The next thing we're going to be doing, I did say this in the last episode, we're going to go start, we're, we're going to start capturing legendary bird Pokemon right here. And the first one that comes to mind is Zapdos. And as you can see, look at that. I completely forgot that I had Dragonite right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the way to go to, or the way to get to Zapdos is to get to the power plant. We've never been there before. Of course, Pikachu is all happy. And we're going to do our Sky Dash. And hopefully, let's see. There is... Okay, so we can get to the rock tunnel. Actually, no, hold on. Crap baskets. So we're going to have to... We're actually going to have to go to, back to Sarah Cerulean City and go straight to Route, I believe, 11. It's okay. We're just going to be flying. That's cool. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Talk to this guy. Uh, yes. Okay, never mind. So yeah, last episode, defeated Team Rocket, and now it is finally time for us to get to Zapdos and all that crud. I thought they would make it easier for us to just get to Zapdos by sky dashing. I mean, Leaf Green, Fire Red did that for us and all that crud. But, yeah, not going to happen. Might as well just use Dragonite while, while we're at it, right? Flying all the way over there, it gets us quicker. Alright, so we're just going to cut this down, and luckily for us... We don't need to do any kind of, like, uh, HM slaving or anything. Pikachu knows how to do all this stuff, and... Well... Did I just see a... Oh, no, that's just, uh... That insect trainer right there, so we're just gonna be flying right here. Not being bothered by any Pokemon in the world. Of course. We're gonna be, uh, stopping here and there just because we're hitting cliffs or whatnot. Please do excuse that. So here we are in Route 10, and all we need to do now is just surf. Use the sea skim by Pikachu. Look at that. And we're off. Look at that. Okay. And, well, let's see. We can stop right here because there is a trainer waiting for us right now. And, well, let's see. What Pokemon should I use first? Oh, Sand Slash. Huh. Yeah, I forgot to heal up my Pokemon right here. So, uh, let's see. Uh, how about... Actually, hold on. I have a good feeling that this guy might be using a Slowpoke. Not because he has a Slowpoke uniform on, but it's just a feeling. Okay, so let's see. Wow, you came all the way here? Maybe you are a Pokemaniac too. Want to see my collection? Okay, alrighty, so here we go, guys. Another battle. Pokemaniac Mark wants to take on us. He doesn't look so confident and crud. I was wrong. He had himself a Rhyhorn, but guess what? I still got a Water-type attack by the most awesome Pikachu ever. So let's go. Let's go with the Splishy Splash. Oh, uh, yeah. Splishy Splash all the way. Say goodbye to Rhyhorn. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Rhyhorn's not like... He's not loving that. Okay, and... Well, let's see. Coming out with the Licky Tongue. I do have a Pokemon for that guy. Let's go straight to Smasher right here. And, uh, yes, it does have double kick, so it's going to be easy right here. Alrighty, let's go, Smasher. Let's do this. Lickitung, what up? First time seeing you in quite some time. So let's go with a double kick to finish this guy off. One. And two. Well, it looks like Lickitung has a pretty strong defense, and this guy's gone for a thrash attack right here. So let's go straight for our double kick right here. There we go. That's one, and say goodbye to Lickitung. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And Pokemaniac Mark is not angry, but he's just a little confused right now. They all look confused. I, I really don't get that. Okay, so let's move on forward right here. There is an item. I wonder what that could be. It is a Thunderstone. And then again, I don't know why they leave stones lying around, if you can just buy them. And is there anything right here? No, Pikachu doesn't detect anything. So let's go right ahead into the power plant right here. Doesn't look abandoned, but it looks just modified and everything. So look at that. Right off the bat, you're going to be seeing some pretty, pretty interesting Pokemon right here, including Magnemite. You're going to find Pikachus in here too, guys. And, uh, well, the rare Electabuzz as well. So just keep an eye out for that right there. And, well, there is a 
train or a coach train right here. So let's go ahead and switch it off right here. All right, Smasher, let's do this. Teach this. Uh, the abandoned power plant is the second least desired place for coach trainers to be assigned to. No matter where I am, I'm gonna do my job. I love my job. Here I come. <laughs> well, at least she's honest. So here we go, a uh, coach trainer Mabel wants the battle and she will be coming out with an Oma Star. Now this is a first, looking at a, a fossil Pokemon being used right here. And well, she does have an advantage because uh, yeah, I am a ground type, that is a water type Pokemon, but here comes a drill run, super effective and well, here comes its hydro pump, oh damn. And we're really going to feel it right now. Smasher nearly gets nearly gets defeated right there. Okay, so let's go. Drill run one more time. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Omastar. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Wow. It's really good to f finally battle a fossil Pokemon right here. And she's going to be coming out with an Aerodactyl. So this is going to be interesting right here. So let's go right ahead and use our good old buddy. Sparky. Alright. See what happens right here. He looks like the Popo. And here's an Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl's still a flying type Pokemon, so I guess this will work on it. Thunderbolt attack. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Aerodactyl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is pretty cool. Awesome. And, wow, she, she has three, the three evolutions. Okay, alrighty, so let's see. Let's go with Mew de Uno right here. I do not have a grass type Pokemon, but I think it does have a Mega Drain. I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. Alright, Kabutops, bring it! I do have a Kabutops of my own. Evolved it off screen, and now I do not have a Mega Drain, so let's go with a Psychic Attack right here. For Psychic. Bam! And Kabutops right now about to use that Leech Life right here. Look at that. Takes a nice chunk out of Mew De Uno's uh, HP right there. And well, let's go right ahead and do one more for Psychic Attack. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Kabutops defeated. Alrighty. Look at that. And we grow to level 55. Alrighty, okay, alright, look at that. And it wants to learn Mega Punch. Yeah, I'm not going to teach it Mega Punch. It's not very. Yeah, not. Yeah, I'm pretty good with my attacks right here. The, uh, you don't know is being used as a special type Pokemon right here. Both you and I did a great job! You kind of did. You kind of surprised me with those uh, fossil Pokemon. So, she'll be giving us five rare candies right here, which is good. You've got to admit, rare candies really get the job done. This is true. Now, Pikachu is asking me something. Uh-oh. What's going on, buddy? Feels tension in the air, and it seems a little afraid. Oh, come on, buddy. You're, you're, you're the greatest Pikachu ever, and you're afraid? There we go. Belly rub. Head rub. There we go. There we go. And you're good. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. And uh, would you look at that. I want to capture this guy. There is an Electabuzz, and it's tiny. Now I did buy myself a buttload of uh, a buttload of Ultra Balls for this occasion, and wow, I got them in an excellent. Come on, stay in there. Come on, damn you. <laughs> okay, and well, let's see. Might as well use a Nana Berry. I don't want to use up all my uh, my raspberries just yet because they are going to be very important for the next Pokemon. Come on, move over. Okay, you asshole Pokemon, you. Come on! Can I move it? Alright. Wow. Okay. There you go. Okay. This... Okay, so he's not going to want to get out of the ball. So, I'm going to run away, capture this guy later. Do not want to waste any of my Pokeballs with this guy right here. And, well, let's see. You're going to find the usual, the usual suspects, uh, Voltorbs, Electrodes, all that kind of stuff. And they're still going to look like Pokeballs, I think. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to avoid these Pokemon right here. 
and grab Pokeballs as where, wherever I go. And here we found ourselves another rare candy. Honestly, getting rare candies in this game doesn't really uh, it doesn't really matter anymore because I guess I guess you know capturing Pokemon as many Pokemon as possible is just you know it's just easy. It just makes it easier for you to just capture or to just uh, grow your Pokemon's level. And I guess those I guess those rare candies would work for the Pokemon that you want to evolve. That way you can actually uh, you know use them in different kinds of stuff. And as you can see, we got ourselves another item right here, which is a Max Potion. And the way you'll know that it's an Electrode or a Voltorb is right here. This thing is upside down. And of course, Pikachu's tail's not wagging. And look at that. Uh-oh. It's a boom. We're taking on an Electrode right here. And this is one of the few times that you'll be able to battle these Pokemon. And, wow, completely forgot this Smasher was uh, a little hurt. And here comes that Swift Attack. Nearly finishing off uh, Smasher right here, so... Let's go with the drill run. Finish this guy off. There we go. And now we can capture this guy. And it is a huge electrode, so let's see. God dang it. Uh, okay, here we go. There we go. God dang it. Okay, come on, you bastard. Alright, I gotta... Oh, okay, I see what you mean. There we go. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I gotta run away because I, I, I'm just gonna be wasting Pokeballs on on these Pokemon who just move side to side. Uh, Pikachu's tail is wagging right here, so... Here we have a Voltorb candy. Very useful for your Voltorbs. And, well, that's another Pokemon done. Actually, first, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here because, uh, yeah, that one right there was very, uh, that was very irresponsible. So, let's see, uh, ch -ch 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 medicine candy, or, <laughs> alright, here we go. Everybody's getting a super potion, I should have bought myself some mega, po or some max potions and all that stuff. Here we go. Everybody's getting healed up. Look at that. And Sparky as well. Okay, so everybody's healed up. And now we're going to be going into... Well, we're going to try and avoid as many Pokemon as possible. Again, Electrodes, Electabuzz, Voltorbs, uh, Magnemites. Hell, you might even find uh, Magnetons right here. And, uh, well, Grimers. That occasional Muck is right here too. And look at that, we found ourselves a TM38 Thunder, which I could teach my Pikachu, and Crab Baskets! Yeah, these Pokemon just appear out of nowhere. Damn you! Okay, there we go. You better stay in that Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball! Uh, okay, so it starts moving. Do not like it when it starts moving, so I'm just going to get out of here. I'm just going to capture these guys off screen because I do not want to battle them. And, well, you saw another Pokeball. That is another Electrode right there. Do not want to mess with that guy right now. And here we have more Pokeballs. All right. Here we have another Thunderstone for those who want to evolve their Pokemon. And crap baskets. This guy is, like, rolling around and stuff. And we're just going to try and get these Pokeballs. Try not to get hit by any of these Pokemon right here. Alright. Where are we? Where are we? Okay. Try to get away. Look at that. These guys are just coming out of the woodwork. Alrighty. Moving on forward. There's another uh, Electrode slash Voltorb. And... Oh, look at that. Pikachu's detecting something. Right here. Okay. We found ourselves a pretty wing. Alrighty, okay. And here we have two Pokeballs. One, of course, is uh, our good old buddy Voltorb uh, Electrode and all that crud. And, well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to save this game. And just to be safe, I think it's time for us to actually put in a few Pokemon that will actually help us in this, uh, in this kind of uh, battle right here. Now that we have the limit to level 70, let's go right ahead... 
let's go right ahead and switch out a few Pokemon. So, I'm going to remove Mew. Uh, Sand Slash as well, because it doesn't have a... Doesn't have a... Well, that... The ground-type capability anymore. And we're going to add Thrasher to the mix right here. And we're going to add Ultra Psycho 2. So, let's go right ahead and switch them out. We're going to go with Ultra Psycho first. Everybody else has kind of like some kind of a uh, immunity to towards uh, Zapdos right here. So, all right, here we are. Let's do this. Oh crud! Bring it. You see the Zapdos? Oh damn, he's just waiting for us. Oh damn! <laughs> oh crap! It's Zapdos time. Whoo! All right, a Zapdos has appeared and its stats rose. So let's go with Ultra Psycho. Welcome back, our good old buddy right here. This is the first time we're using this guy here. And well, as you can see, I gave him some pretty good moves right there. So let's go with a Psychic Attack. And bam! Zapdos right now, trying to prevent itself right now. You have to defeat this guy be, uh, before four minutes and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead, or five minutes, I should say. Let's go ahead and switch out to Thrasher right here. Let's go. Bring it. Smasher and Thrasher back together again. And here comes its agility attack. You're not going to do anything right now, except for just raising your speed right here. All right, let's go. Let's go with a Rock Slide right here. And here comes its drill pack. Not so effective, but here comes the rock slide. Finishes this guy. Now we're able to capture this guy. There you go. Now, this is a legendary Pokemon. You're going to have to try your hardest to capture this guy. Uh, let's see. Let's go with a Nan -Nan Berry. And luckily for us, we've been capturing a buttload of Pokemon. So, you know, we got a lot of berries. And this guy right here. Oh, damn. So, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's go with a raspberry. And, of course, this guy's going to be flying. Here we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Damn it. Okay, so. Again, we're going to have to throw another berry at this guy. Trust me, guys, uh, there are going to be a buttload of berries that you're going to have to use. And there we go again. Two. Three. Come on. Stay in there. Oh! <laughs> Nearly got this guy. Come on. Ah, uh, damn you, Zapdos. Come on. Stay in the ball. Oh, <laughs> you suck, Zapdos. All right, let's try this again. Nope. Here we go. And come on. Damn you, Zapdos. Okay. I can do this. Pineapple berry, peanut berry, or whatever you like to call it. Let's go. There it is. Excellent. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the. Oh, god dang it. There we go. We're, we're getting nice stats on this guy. Come on. Two. Three. Stay. Stay. Oh. All right. Let's go with a golden raspberry. Uh, yes. Here we go. Come on, stay in the ball. Two, three, got him! <laughs> now we gotta get more golden raspberries. Whoo, look at that, look at that. And look at it, Ultra Cycle grows a level for the first time in like quite some time. And Smasher, of course, grows a level 2. Oh my god. Look at this. Zapdos, the data has been entered. Zapdos, the electric type Pokemon. 5 feet, 116 pounds of pure muscle and spikes. Don't forget spikes. This legendary bird Pokemon is said to appear when the sky turns dark and lightning showers down. That is scary. That is very, very scary. So, look at that, guys. We caught ourselves a Zapdos, and Pikachu has something to say. 
And... <laughs> it seems uh, Sparky was awestruck with all this stuff. That's right, buddy. We were awestruck, but we caught ourselves a, a very, very good Pokemon. And, well, there's pretty much nothing else that you can do right here. I'm just looking for any items around. And there's a Magneton, which we don't want anything from. So here's the way out. And bam. We're back, baby. So that, that pretty much completes our whole uh, Zapdos excavation right there. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, Zapdos that we just caught. Didn't, I couldn't believe that it, that, it, would, it would be that easy with a golden uh, ra raspberry. So here he is. Oh, wow. He's in our team. Okay. So let's see. Check summary. Here is Zapdos. As you can see, it has a rash nature, both electric and flying type Pokemon. And it does have some pretty nifty moves. Drill Peck, Thunderbolt. Those are pretty awesome. As you can see, agility and light screen are stats uh, booster right there. Now, if you judge it, this guy has some pretty good stats. Damn good stats. So, yeah, you know, I would love to use it, but, man, eh, you know what, legendary Pokemon. I only have room for one legendary Pokemon, and what is Dragonite doing? Seems interested in the Zapdos you just caught. Really? Okay. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, well, I'm just going to be surfing because, and, well... Let's go ahead and fly. You know, we could have just done that. I just wanted to see my Pokemon surf. Look at this. Look at this guy. Overjoyed, hopping up and down. That's good. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. I'll give you some attention. Okay. I'll give you some attention. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. So, let's go ahead and use Sky Dash. And we're going to be going straight to Fuchsia City. Now, in our next adventure, we're going to be going... To route, let's see, 19 all the way to Route 20 to get to Seafoam Islands, okay? From there, we're going to go straight out to Route 20 again, get to Cinnabar Island to finish out our, our whole, uh, you know, round trip of the Kanto region. Then, from there, Route 21 back home to finish it out. So, I hope you guys are ready for this one. We are close to being done with this game. It has been fun, guys. It's been very, very fun, so... Can't wait for the last few things that we got we got to do right here. So, anywho, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.